In this video, we are going to go over the process to measure dissolved CO2 in our water sample. So you may bring up your own water sample. Um, for Scout and Navigator, you're gonna have one of these test tubes, but there's not enough water in this test tube to get up to the 20 millimeter mark. So you might just have a cup of sample uh, waiting for you on the table. So you'll have your water samples. You are gonna have your test tube. You're going to have a syringe, a titrator, and then you're going to have two reagents that come out of this carbon dioxide kit. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fill our test tube to the 20 millimeter mark. So hopefully without spilling too much, I'm going to fill this up to the 20 millimeter mark. So you can see that's a 20 millimeter mark. We are right up there with the water sample that we either got from the pool or was waiting for us on the table. And then we're gonna add two drops of this reagent. And we do wanna be careful here. These are chemicals, so we don't wanna get spill them or get them on us, but we're gonna add two drops. So one, two. Now, if this automatically turns red, that means there's no uh, free carbon dioxide in here, but it didn't. You can see it's still clear in here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the cap on here. So there we go. Our plastic cap is on there, but it has a little hole in it. And then with this reagent, the carbon dioxide B reagent, going to open that up again, being careful. We are going to put our syringe into it so there we go into it and then turn it sideways so we can get some reagent and i'm going to fill this all the way up so i'm going to pull this open all the way to the zero mark there we go so now my syringe is full of carbon dioxide b and we're going to do one drop at a time so we're going to put this in there and we're going to put in one drop So that one drop, you can see it turns pink immediately. I think a second drop got in there, but I'm gonna shake it up and you'll notice all that pink goes away. So that was two drops. I'm gonna do a couple more drops and it'll turn pink a little bit, but we're gonna keep stirring it up, stirring it up and stirring it up until we don't, we can still see some pink. So actually, as I look in here, it's kind of hard to tell. I want something on a white background, but it mostly disappeared, but I'm starting to see a little bit of pink. So I'm going to get a white background here. Well, I don't know. It still looks pretty clear. I'm going to do a couple more drops. Looks like we're close. So I'm going to add another drop, two drops. Stir this up. And there we go. I am starting to see pink that's not going away after stirring this up. So there you go. At this point, I'd tell the judge, hey, it's turning pink. As I shake and stir this, that pink's not going away. So then I'm gonna look at my titrator and we are at 15. So that's the number we're gonna give the judge. That's 15 parts per billion, I believe. Um, let me double check that. Yeah, uh, parts per million. So that's how many parts per million of carbon dioxide are in here, 15. That's what I would report to the judge, and then the judge would give me points. So this is the method for determining uh, dissolved CO2 in our water samples.